Good day, Jeff Kitzmiller here from the National Weather Service with your St. Patrick's Day uh, planning briefing. Some of the main points that we're looking at here are keeping that warm and dry through Tuesday and then looking for cooler and wetter conditions for the second half of the week and onward. Uh, that will also come with lower snow levels, mountain pass snow, and even some valley snow as possible, especially in northwest Montana. Here's another snapshot here of uh, what we're seeing with the past level snow starting and then working our way down to maybe even some lower elevation snow. High pressure dominating right now. We can see just from the little bit of cloud cover that's showing up that it's all showing this ridge of high pressure in place and that stays until Tuesday. And then uh, afterwards we get some form of a trough that starts to take over. Looking at our temperature trends, uh, we have these well above normal, very warm temperatures, and then start to see a cooling trend start on Wednesday, and then uh, possibly much cooler as we get into the weekend. Uh, here's a little more detail on those temperatures, where we have a lot of 60s and 70s Monday and Tuesday, and then getting back into the 40s and uh, 20s and 30s for the lows. Here on Wednesday, uh, this is when we start to see the first uh, probabilities of measurable snow show up and those are along the divide and this is if we actually get some of that easterly wind with a with some uh, cooler air coming down from the north still a lot of range on how that's going to happen so I just put this in here that uh, there's at least enough showing some measurable snow along the divide and then when we move forward uh, by by Thursday evening start to see the high terrain uh, get in the mix with some higher probabilities of measurable snowfall and on Friday more area uh, and here we have the probability of greater than two inches highlighted in the yellow over in the glacier region so that was why I started to put that potential for some moderate impacts uh, up there. Uh, on Saturday get those probabilities expanding into a lot more of the area uh, overall it's looking colder still though uh, there's still a lot of uh, model ideas of how the trough is going to come in if it's going to be a lot colder coming from the north or is it more of the trough coming from the west so there's still uh, between those two or, or solutions we're seeing a higher likelihood of snow and when we look for the probability for two inches of snow uh, even the valleys in northwest Montana start to show up on Saturday so the main point here is that yeah once we get into that cooler pattern which is later in the week and in the weekend with uh, some snow impacts are showing up so we'll need to keep an eye on that uh, still though like I keep saying there's a lot of range in how the overall weather pattern is going to transition from this warm into a cooler weather pattern uh, looking at just a couple points here Marias Pass with some snow uh, totals and then we see Thursday onward is where the temperatures start to show that trend of below freezing and then Lookout Pass here where uh, temperatures are still kind of mild for most of this but as we get to Friday is where we see those temperatures getting closer to freezing and some snow potential. Uh, looking for the outlook this is for March 24th through the 30th uh, we're trending toward uh, below average for the temperatures and leaning toward above average for precipitation pretty much to end the month. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.